What we are looking at is uh, some information coming in, very tentative information. We're trying to get more details. We'll bring that to you of an attempted assassination plot on the Russian President Vladimir Putin, Moscow claiming that this was an attack which was carried out by Ukraine. Now, the information is tentative. What I do see on my screen, I believe, is footage from Moscow, and that seems to be the Red Square area. Uh, and it is over here uh, that um, this attack, possibly through a drone attack, uh, may have taken place. Now, uh, there have been past um, uh, concerns which Moscow has raised on attempts which may be made by uh, Kiev, but there is some video evidence over here of an attempted strike uh, on the Red Square area. That's very much at the heart of Moscow. That's what I can see right now. I'm trying to get more uh, information with uh, AFP, with Al Jazeera now saying that Russia has accused Ukraine of attempting an overnight uh, drone attack uh, on the Kremlin with the aim of killing President Vladimir Putin. The allegation the allegation has been made by the Kremlin and reported by several uh, Russian news agencies. Uh, that's what we have so far. Uh, an overnight drone attack uh, on the heart of Moscow, which uh, the Russians believe was a direct attack taken, uh, carried out in an attempt to assassinate the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Now, this is a massive escalation uh, of the war between Ukraine and Russia at this stage and a major claim which, is, uh, which has been reported. There is footage over there which shows uh, what is likely to be the impact of a strike. Now, the consequences of this we do not know, but uh, it is the Kremlin saying that, um, uh, that this has taken place and that Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, has not been affected in this drone attack. So that's uh, what we are getting at this stage. Uh, we'll continue to track the story very, very closely. But um, I think in terms of the overall context of what the situation is, um, more than a year after this, uh, this, this war started um, and this massive escalation which has taken place. Now, it's not the first time that the Ukrainians have struck within Russian territory. In fact, they've done that repeatedly. They've done that in territory captured by Russia earlier on in 2014, for example, the Crimea. They continue to do that in eastern parts of Ukraine uh, as well. Again, territory which was captured by Russia in 2014. As far as this incident is concerned, the Kremlin has said that it considered the attack to be a planned terrorist action. Uh, that's what uh, the uh, Russian uh, RIA, that's their news agency, is saying. They say that two drones had been used in this attack and that both had been disabled by Russian defences. Significantly, Vladimir Putin is OK. Uh, Al Jazeera reporting that Russia has accused Ukraine of attempting an overnight drone attack on the Kremlin with the aim of assassinating President Vladimir Putin. The allegation was made uh, by the Kremlin, reported by several Russian news agencies as well.